Hello folks, in this video I've created a GPS compass using an ESP8266. Here's the compass running. It's not moving at the moment, it requires about 5 meters of movement to create a new bearing but its default position is true north. Shows current location altitude, number of satellites, date and time, speed and azimuth. That's the module being used, the GPS unit. It's a Neo 6M. You get those for about $5 and a serial connection at 9600 board. So 5 volt ground transmit and receive data. Connected it to the Wemos D1 Mini like this. If you connect it like that it will work. It's a fairly straightforward set of connections so the serial data goes to D1 and D2 and a TFT SPI display connected as per the charts there. These are the sentences available from uh, most GPS units. Uh, typically though you, you get about five or six depending on the module you purchase. Five or six of the useful ones. Uh, these are the ones that typically you'll find on most products on the market. They give you nearly everything you need. And these are the three sentences that I'm using in the software which you'll find in the link at GitHub from which you get time, date, latitude, longitude, altitude, bearing, true or magnetic, speed in kilometers or knots. And um, there's a breakdown of a sentence in more detail so you can see how it's structured and formed. It's uh, not particularly relevant in terms of data but it shows you how each field is formed and what it, what it means. The thing to note about GPS modules is they can take quite some time to first lock if the ephemeris data is out of uh, out of date, either through time being being off or if it's been moved from another country. In terms of getting a new bearing, depending on the circular error probable of the reception, you, you require about five meters of movement in any direction. After which you will get an update of the bearing. Speed is very accurate, typically 0.2 kilometers per hour. Um, I don't know what the knots is, but it's that equivalent in knots. And uh, th this form of GPS compass can't be used in a static application, but it works fine in a mobile application as you'd expect. I hope you enjoy the, uh, the software.